Alright, so I'm gonna try and complete this area in this video, and just this area, because this has maybe four bosses total. Starting with the Ceaseless Discharge, of course, and then there's the Centipede, no, what, I forgot the name of it, Fire Demon, Fire Sage Demon, man, I forgot the names, I've completely forgot the names, but obviously it ends off with the Bed of Chaos, and that is just completely gonna be luck-based, whether or not I can get through that in one attempt or five attempts, but all I know is... If I can get this done in one video, that would be great. Now, obviously, I did already attempt this in the last video, and I was not successful, so... We're gonna have to try this again. Oh, and I did get my two levels, so I could use my actual spell that I got in the last video as well. I just... I, I don't like this boss. I can't dodge its attacks. My spells don't even reach it. Look, let's try roll. Oh my god. Okay, it was a bit easier this time. But that's a good start. That's a good start. I know there's many ways to take out that boss. Normally with a melee character, you can like kind of hide in the back and just dodge its arm attack over and over again. And then do damage to the arm. Or some people like to just run back to the boss gate and make it jump off this cliff here and it will just instantly die. I've never done that, and when I have tried to do that, it never worked. I recall the first time I ended up in this area and seeing the Capra Demon, and then various more Capra Demons down there. I don't know why they just spammed the enemy down there. It looks so weird and out of place. Like, what is this? We've got two right next to each other, and then another two... Slightly spaced apart. It looks so out of place and weird. The funniest part is that I only did that bit once because instead you can just do that. And then the. Yeah, here it is. Get the bonfire. So are we gonna save Solaire? No, we're not, because I never did the 30 humanity thing, right? And I definitely am not going back to do 30 humanity right now. I just remembered right now that, like, if we wanted to save Solaire, we should have done that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does that. I should have remembered because I went back to the asylum and fought the same boss. It's just reskinned. And it does that exact same attack. Let's try that again. We're gonna get the exact same thing happen, aren't we? Let's repeat it for the third time. If you can't dodge roll, you use a shield. Demon Catalyst. I think I'll stick with the one that I've got. Well, that's two down. That's good. But again, the real one is the Bed of Chaos. That's the one I'm going to struggle on. And the next one, actually. The next one as well. But no, I actually dislike this boss fight quite a bit now that I remember. So it's got really long reaching attacks. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that. Well, this is going to be bad. 
I hate doing it here because it does a really long ranged attack that can just insecure you. There it is. It's nowhere near close enough. Please come closer for the love of God. Oh, I got the ring already. Now I can actually cross the lava if I fail. Where's it going? I've never done that as a mage before. You can just insta get the ring, which, you know, you need the ring. I'm gonna have to take off this one for now. You need the ring so you can cross lava without dying. You can just instantly get the ring by shooting it, and then it just freaks out, and you can just freely shoot some magic at it. Well, now it's Bed of Chaos time. Apparently in the original version of the game, these uh, things that are spammed all over this area were way more aggressive, and they would actually follow you all the way up to the next bonfire. Try, I always get the wrong, ah, it's this one. I see the message. So let's rest here and commence the long journey to the bed of chaos. I'm going to take the ring off real quick just because I'm going to have to kill a few things leading up to it. I've completely overestimated the area though because I'm thinking of it on a non-mage character. I've gotten through this a lot faster than I thought. But again, we're, we're at the worst part, so. Oh, is that the invader that I was thinking of? Oh no, here it is. Wow, that's a lot of souls that I don't want to go back and rest for. The way you do this is you equip your shield in the right hand because you want to two-hand the, the attacks. And the best way is to save and quit after each checkpoint, basically. This is probably the most fun part, actually. Yeah, so we're going to just run to this side first. I mean, there's many strategies that... No, 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 no. I should have equipped a sword as well. Okay, that's the first part done. So... That side is complete. And now you have to run around all the way to the right side, or the left side, depending on which one you do first. The thing is though, progress saves in this boss fight. So once you take out the left or right side, you can die and come back and the progress will still be saved. So you can just quit the game and log back in and it'll spawn you back at the boss arena. Which cuts out having to go all the way across the arena to get back because, trust me, it's not fun. And we're gonna find out why. Even just starting from here, and going to the right side at this point is going to be a bit of a nightmare. I've not got my shield equipped. So it kind of repairs the arena a little bit. And it prevents having to go all the way. Let's not get knocked in here. Okay, rolling works too. Okay, there's the second side complete. And now it's down the middle. Which is the worst bit. So let's go back. I don't know if I've ever completed this first try without dying and having to do the run back. Not that this, like, attempt is going to be any different. There's no reason to believe that. What attacks does it do? I've just got to remember. Okay. Oh, I'm so dead.
Bro. Okay, you know what? Get on that shit. We're not safe. We can get knocked off. We can get blasted by fire. That's not what I want to see! No! Wow. Man, I got so lucky this, this time. I didn't have to do the Bed of Chaos run back. Anyone who has played this game knows how lucky someone has to be to say that. I did not have to do the Bed of Chaos run back. You know what? I might as well try and get Pinwheel done. The hardest boss. But I think what I'll do is... Okay. So for anyone that doesn't know, the Catacombs is an interesting area. These skeletons right here, they don't die when you kill them. They'll respawn. And there's only two ways of preventing them from getting back up. You either have to kill one of the necromancers. There'll be a general necromancer in the area that if you kill it will stop the skeletons from respawning. But you can kill the skeletons and prevent them from respawning by just having a divine weapon. And I actually... I do have the divine ember so I can make one but... I'm doing it the lazy way which is to just... Kill the necromancer. Or just skip the enemies entirely. I will rest here because the... I know I keep saying I'm probably going to die a lot against these things and then I end up doing it first try or whatever, but this time, I don't think I'm joking. I'm going to rush the catacombs. I don't see a way of me surviving. Though then again, I could like... Couldn't I just... Take the guy out from here? Yeah, I could. Wow, benefits of being a mage. I like these guys though. They roll around, you know? And then when they get back up after respawning, they kind of have to fix their head. They kind of have to like pat their head back on. Funny little fellas these guys are. The ones that you don't want to fuck around with are the wheel skeletons. Yeah, you see, you see him pat his head. Funny guy, funny guy. Like... You don't want to fuck around with the wheel skeletons. They are the ones that... This is why, actually, I've just remembered why I... A lot of people go to the catacombs early because when you kill Pinwheel, you can rekindle bonfires, which allows you to essentially get up to 20 flasks every time you rest at a bonfire. Obviously, that's very useful. The reason I don't come here early is because if you don't have the Lord Vessel, you can't warp back out, right? Like, normally what I do is I'll kill Pinwheel, and then I'll just warp back out to Firelink Shrine or wherever I want to go. You can't do that if you don't have the Lord Vessel. You have to get out this area manually. And that's a fucking nightmare. I've tried it before, and I won't try it again. Where the fuck are you going? Cool. This is where I meant to go. Where's the next drop? Well, that's not good. Wait. Oh, that's bad. So I can't get the bonfire because they fell down here and they don't die. Well, that's really bad because this is the worst part. On the way to the boss, you've got fucking skeleton wheels. These things. They will one-shot me if they hit me. Seriously. Well, if they continuously hit me. That was one, one touch. Okay, we actually got here. Let's not die to pinwheel. Or we could do that. I didn't know how much damage I'd be doing to it. Well, that's the right of kindling. Now we can kindle bonfires with humanity, and I've got plenty of humanity to do that. I'm probably going to kindle... Oh! 
I remember. We don't have... Please send me, I've got a bone. Okay. We don't have the fucking... We don't have the fucking... Uh, we haven't got the fucking... We haven't got the item that we need to light up the area. So we're gonna have to go back. Wait. No, 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 no. Is that really the only place I can warp to? The very beginning of the lava area? There's no way, right? Seriously? Are they really making me run that whole way? Man, th that's the thing with this game. They put warping in and they're like, let's just do it to specific parts. What's the point? If you're gonna be able to warp in general, like the mechanic is here, you can warp to bonfires. Why not just allow warping to every bonfire? Like, I don't know what they would think. Like, yeah, sure, I cut out a bunch of running to get back to the Daughter of Chaos, but why are you gonna make me run all the way back just because? Like, we'll, we'll let you warp some of the way, but we don't want to cut all the running out. And this is why you want to get the Sunlight Maggot while you're here. And to think all this could have been avoided if I just picked it up before going through the door. I just completely forgot. And there's Solaire. We failed to save him. I just didn't want to offer 30 humanity. I'm sorry. My laziness uh, just didn't want to get all that humanity and uh, it had to be done. If anyone is curious, how do you save him? If you offer 30 humanity, you can actually get the shortcut, which is this door in front of me. So just before that second boss I killed at the start of the video, you can just come here instead and open the door. And you would have to take out this bug, and that would prevent him from ever going insane. But to get the shortcut, you need to offer 30 humanity, which in all honesty, how much have I got, actually? You know what? I actually had... Like, I had more than enough. I just got two from killing him, but I had more than... I could have easily gone to the depths farmed a few rats and got like five humanity I probably would have had enough for 30 at that point you, you just can't make this up you you really can't there's a bit of the wall that sticks out and it like pushes you slightly off where you want to land you see that bit I nearly did it again that bit sticks out now it doesn't matter if I die to the skeleton wheels I'd prefer not to, but it doesn't matter if I do. I don't know how to dodge them, man. They're just so... You have to, like, make hard strafes. But you also can't see when... Fuck you. Actually, fuck you. These are the worst enemies in the game. Seek guidance. The problem is they're in front of you as well. I don't just want to look behind me. But it, it can certainly help. I don't care about my souls. I've got like 2,000. Oh, see, that was a good run. There was one of them that attacked me. And that was it. And now we, after all that effort that I did not need to do any of any of that, I can equip the Sunlight Maggot and actually see where I'm going. I'm trying to think what I did last time. Oh. This area is confusing, not only because you can barely see anything, but I just always get lost looping around the same areas. Also, skeleton dogs. I actually fucking hate them. My thing went through its legs because it stood up. My soul spear went through its legs. See, you can drop down there. Clearly. Might as well take this guy out while he's here. Okay, that's not the correct direction. Where the fucking shit did you come from? Oh god, I'm so dead. 
Maybe not. Uh, bonfire? Yes. That's good. I didn't forget about you. I knew you were there. Okay. I missed the crystal lizard anyway. I, I, I don't mind coming back. More... Yeah, ideally having more... Flasks at this bit is nice. I'm gonna try and get past all these guys. And this is the boss fight. You actually take... Yeah. Oh, man. You actually take damage just by falling into the arena. Like, nearly half my HP. I wonder if my crystal soul mass will stay, though. Through the cutscene. an interesting boss though. Oh, they do stay and that's good. I've never seen that attack. What a prick. It's an interesting boss because I'm not trying to waste my soul mass on the skeletons. He actually kills his own people. Oh god, what is that? What a ball sack of a boss this is. Let's see how it goes this time. Yep, I've seen this. So go on, I'll, I'll heal. We'll do his stupid underground attack. Or not this time. Guess we got blessed. Oh yeah, he's... That ends. Yeah, so... They do respawn. I'm, I believe I'm trapped. He's gonna do his AoE attack, and I'm gonna die. All that. F no, not on you. Oh, they, they just, they get up way too quick. That's the only good thing about this. He can kill his teammates. take damage. But... Oh, I love that attack. Oh, no, no, no. It's such a good attack that you sometimes start off with. Not always, just sometimes. Fuck out my way. Okay, so is that a sound cue attack? The scream does that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Shit, not again, bro. Oh. I wasn't looking. Okay, so that's actually how you want to do it as a mage. Just stay in this area so the big guys don't come after you. And just do one hit at a time. Uh, that was actually... I just... I just didn't even know what to do. When you know what to do, that's actually easy. I don't have enough to buy the crest of Autorius. But I can easily get enough. I only need about 1,500 more souls. So I'll just really quickly kill these two snakes. Actually, you know what might give me 1,500 souls? The Titanite Demon. Don't think I've killed it, right? Are you still in here? Yeah, that's gotta be 1.5k at the very least. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, 2,000. That'll do. Alright, Andre. Give me the Crest of Artorius. So I've got to kill Sif. Then the Four Kings, which is the area I'm least looking forward to. I'm just not the biggest fan of that area in general. You need the transient curse item to even get through it. At least at the beginning. Because of all the ghosts that are coming after you. And that building where you get the key. That building is plagued with them. I mean they come up the floors. They come out the walls. They're everywhere. And they can attack you before you can even see them through the walls. I really dislike New Londo Ruins. And then just to get into the abyss. I have to take off one of my stat boosting rings. You know, just to even get down there. Now I'm going to go on Crystal Soul Mass here because, uh... Actually, we shouldn't be using good spells. We need them for the boss. But we are going to get attacked. That's the issue. <laughs> oh, here's actually one of my favorite NPCs. Like, when it comes to my favorite enemies in the game, we've got the skeletons and the catacombs, the ones that pat their head when they get up. And then we've got these guys. I mean, look at these. Look how chill they are. Just little mushroom fellas. Now, the NPCs I'm not as big of a fan of are the bigger mushrooms. You can kind of see one in the distance over there. I'm not going to go up to one of those guys. But as far as these go, they're just little chill fellas stumbling around. One attack that I really dislike. It's the dual. That. That's why I hate it. I always get caught in it. Right, so I faced him really late in the game. And I just simply three shot at him. You can come here a lot earlier. The problem is, I don't like spending 20,000 souls just to get here. Although you can actually get there without paying the 20k, but I've always done it that way. And that's just normally my go-to. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine so I can enter New Londo Ruins. I don't have a transient curse. I know it gives you two of them at the beginning. So that's something. I'm gonna just go off of that for now. There we go, we've got two. And actually I think the ghosts do drop them as well. Take all that off, put this on. I wouldn't mind it because they are quite expensive items as well from the merchant. I mean, what is that reach? But the first goal is to unflood this place. I'll also get a free Esther shard if I do that. Even though after this, I think I'm going to go up against the final boss. It's not really going to benefit me too much. See, they come, they, they, they're just everywhere. And they go through walls. They also pop up behind you. As you just saw. 
Yes, two transient casters. Okay, we should be set now for this area. Also love the fact that they disappear. I'm gonna wait here. This is the bad room. Whoa! See what I mean? Bruh! No! Okay, you know what? I run. I run. Whoa! Whoa! Buddy! No! What a lovely, lovely area. What a joy to run through. Okay, so again, I'll wait outside the door first. Because they'll come from outside. And kill me while I'm in there. There's another one. I think that's five so far. Anyone else want some? That. I was going to say that was it, but... I definitely just know there's a lot up here, so like... Trying to lure them out. But it looks like that might be it. I mean, you'd think, right? You'd think, well, there's none of, there's no more coming out, right? I'm standing at the very bottom of the ladder, so we should be free to now walk up here without getting ganked. Good. Thank you. Let's get what we need. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have. The Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the Four Kings. This is the key to the seal. Yep, yeah, we've got the ring already and everything, so now we just need to get down there. I've used a lot of my spells as well, which isn't good for a boss fight. But I don't think I ever get the Four Kings on my first attempt. Not unless I'm a melee character tanking, or because that's a good strategy for the four kings, is just tanking everything. Wear Havel's armor, tank every explosion. Now we can access this bit. Oh, there's the... There's the boss door. If I drop off here, can I go and do the boss now? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know, but I didn't know exactly where I could drop off. Just thinking, is that a good... No, that's not the best way of coming back to the boss if you have to fail it and retry. Because then you have to go through all those ghosts again just to get back up to there. Wait, wait, wait. Traverse the abyss. We need that on. Or we're not going to make it very far. Again, I've not got many... I've got all these spells at least, actually. We'll see. The goal here is to kill one of the four kings. Well, there's more, there's more than four of them. But they, they're infinitely respawning. So the goal is to kill them. Before a new one spawns. Because you've got a bit of time now. Like, there isn't anything to kill right now. It's just all on a timer.
There's another one down. Soul Mass is not good for this. It's just not hitting them. There he is. We've only got 13 Great Soul Arrows. I don't think that's going to do too much damage. Uh, hello? Fucking all the way over there, what are you doing? Oh, you don't have to actually kill? I know there's like the, the main boss health bar, but and then like an infinite spawning adds, but you don't actually have to kill an ad. You can be mid-killing him. If the boss health bar just ends, they all just die. But now it's time to talk to our good friend over here. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, and wide awake. Drop me off, please. Thank you. Let's offer the souls to the Lord Vessel. Now, I don't know how the final boss will go. Normally I have to parry him, and I'm not that good at parrying. It doesn't take that long to learn, but still. I just don't know how good my magic will be against him. Do I run past these guys? Probably not a good decision. But then again, I'm not trying to waste all my good stuff on them. I think there's five total knights along the way. Going into this with zero flasks. Oh, I never got the Esther shard from New Londo as well, so still plus one. Oh wait, we should probably like equip the boost sorcery ring again, you know? Now that we're out of the abyss and we don't need that at all. Ooh, that could have been bad. Alright, let's try it then. Don't necessarily know how it will go on this character, but I might need to learn how to parry. Yeah. Okay, that's good damage though, actually. I just hope they can't attack me while I'm in the animation of coming through here. What? Where did my shit go? Oh, it's getting lost on him. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought I'd have to actually learn how to parry again. Look at the Black Knights trying to get in. In fact, actually, will they get in now that the Fog Door's gonna fade? No, they just disappear. Time to set myself on fire.
So I think I might do Dark Souls 2 next. I don't really know that game as well. And I'm not going to play Mage. I played Mage in... I played it in Demon's Souls. I just did it in this. And I recently did an Elden Ring playthrough on it. So I'm going back to what I normally play. Um, but I think I might do Dark Souls 2 next. I know not as many people like Dark Souls 2. But I've done Demon's Souls. I did Dark Souls Remastered. I might as well go in order at this point. Let's do a bonus boss fight. This will actually be the final boss of the series. Not Gwyn. <laughs> That's the thing about New Game Plus. It's supposed to be more difficult. But you go into it with all the shit that you have. All the shit that you carried over. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I, I will do another Dark Souls series again at some point. I actually am thinking about doing a Platinum Trophy. I mean, I've already got like loads of trophies on it, but I don't have the Platinum because I've never really bothered to go after it. There's like a few cut, like maybe a couple covenants I would need to enter and then I would get Platinum. So I might do an, an, another run at some point where I actually get that in the video. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.